What's up out there? Marty here with GuitarJams.com. What I wanted to do for this little module is I'm going to just show you a bunch of different ways to play the exact same chord, a D major chord, which is, you know, one of the classic guitar chords to know. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different places to substitute that chord and hopefully it will give you some ideas on how you can um, use it for other chords. I'm starting with the classic D chord. And the root is either the open D right here or the uh, third fret on the B string, which is a D note as well. So the first different kind of D chord, or the first um, alternate voicing, or it, this one would be called an inversion. And what I'm going to do, this note right here is called F sharp. I'm going to play this note, F sharp, in the bass right here. So then my middle finger is going to go on the third fret of the B, index on the second fret of the G. So there is another way to play D chord. You could even bar it right there. You could add your pinky on the fifth fret of the high E as well. For different inversions and things. Love that chord. I use it a lot. I also bar this when I do it and I do some tricks with my ring finger on the D and the G. Same chord. But then you could also put your pinky on the fifth fret of the A, which is the root again, a D note. And now what you see is that this is forming the shape of a C major chord. Up a whole step. C, D, E, half step to F, G, it's a movable chord, especially when you're barring with your index fingers acting like a capo. So we have this. And that's from uh, Under the Bridge. You know, so we got that. Then we got this bar chord right here with the root again on the fifth fret of the A. And that looks like an A major chord up a whole step. A, B, half step to C, whole step to D. So two little things that come from here. I really like this higher triad where you put your index on the fifth of the high E, and then you play the seventh on the B and the G. Now you have a higher voiced D chord. take this little piece right here, you can put your index there instead, and play this bass note here, which is that F sharp again. Oops, sorry. And so then if you bar the A string as well on the 7th fret here and hammer the 7th, now you have what I like to call the Hendrix major chord. Have the major pentatonic underneath that. Okay, so we're going to keep going. The interesting thing about this is it actually comes from the G form. So I'm barring this right here, but look. I'm playing this G shape. G. A, B, half step to C, D, but then it needs to be barred because of the what's normally the open strings on the G chord. It's kind of a cumbersome chord shape. So a lot of people just play a little cluster of it. Okay, and then we have the bar chord, the E-shaped bar chord D. Standard 
chord right there. Um, but there's variations. You could play um, the top three, meaning the top three pitch strings of it, and it would look like this. You know, like a little triad right there. You could add your ring finger to the twelfth of the D, and now you're playing an F shape. F, G, A, B, C, D. So it's going to be less muddy than a full bar chord, but that's good. That's you know, your choice. You know, Hendrix put his thumb around to get the bass note. Now you have your pinky free, pinky free. It sounds like some product. You guys can tell me what you think pinky free is. I bought pinky free. Cool, just like that. Okay, <clears throat> the last one that I'm going to show you for this lesson will be the root right here, 12th fret of the D. And it's kind of part of a D shape right here, but then with the root right here. So we've got 15, 14, 12. Um, but something that's really awesome is playing that F sharp again. That's called the third of this chord, the major third. It's a really strong, strong tone of the chord. So it's right here on the 14th of the low E. So you can play that as a D major chord right here. And the A string is muted by my middle finger. And then, <clears throat> when you start doing chord progressions and you're knowledgeable of, the, of these kinds of voicings, then you can really mix and match different, different things. For instance, um, let's do D to C. 